All right, so you're looking at questions 1 through 13. There are a total, actually, of 18 questions that I put in this little basket that New York State calls physical behavior of matter. I also then broke it up even further, because there's a lot of questions that would go into this whole matter category. So make sure you have answered the questions for yourself you're going to find a PDF file on nychemcoach.com, and you can print out all the questions. The answers are all there. Do the questions. Check your answers. These are questions from the three 2015 Regents exams. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through here the answers and what you need to do to get yourself ready for the Regents exam you're going to take. Okay. Well, we'll start with question one. The answer here is number three. Let me switch this, which it's a mixture. His stainless steel is a mixture of iron to carbon, and the key word here is that it varies. So if it's varying, it's a mixture. It's not a compound. That's a word you need to know. After you listen to this and go through questions, I am also putting up some videos with notes of things that you need to know coming from these questions. Is it everything? No. But you can start from there and make sure that certain vocabulary, certain facts, and certain skills, meaning calculations and using reference tables, you can do to get yourself ready for this test. All right, let's go on to the next question. Which substance cannot be broken down by chemical change? Well. That's actually the definition for an element. So you need to find which of these four is an element, and that would be number three. The other three words are for compounds. If you're not sure but you knew it was an element, you could go to the reference table, or if you're not sure, you can go to reference table S and look up silicon. Let's move on to number three. Temperature, sample, of matter. Temperature goes along with kinetic energy. That's choice two. So right away, you're seeing that these three questions coming from Regents exams in 2015 are based on your knowledge of the words, the definitions for the words. Number four, which sample is a mixture? Well, again, you need to know what mixture is. Now it's come up twice in these first four questions. Well, a mixture is two or more substances that are physically combined and the only possible choice here would be choice four. Because potassium bromide AQ would be a solution. Water plus the potassium bromide as a liquid. The others are only one phase. Go on to number five. We have a mixture. And how do we separate a mixture? We separate it out different ways based on physical properties. Here we're talking about filtering and evaporating. Um, of course, the salt is dissolved in water, so we want to filter out the sand and then evaporate the water, leaving the salt. For question six, which two gases cannot be broken down by chemical means is another way of asking you which of the two gases here are elements. Again, number three. For question seven, we're back to mixtures again. Two substances in a mixture differ in density and particle size. And these properties, of course, can be used to separate them. Mixtures can be separated, again, because the parts of the mixture, the different substances of a mixture, retain their own properties. These are all based on vocabulary words and knowing those words. Another vocabulary word here shows up in question eight. And when we have two or more forms of an element, we have what's known as an allotrope. So oxygen, O2, and ozone, O3, are examples of allotropes. And notice, yes, they're all, they all have only oxygen atoms but they definitely have different molecular structures, which also means they have different properties. Speaking of properties, look at number nine, which statement des um, describes a chemical property. 
of course, you need to know a chemical property versus a physical property. With a chemical property, this is all about reactions. And, of course, producing new substances, breaking bonds and new bonds forming. So, number nine. For number 10, which term identifies a chemical reaction? So we have words that def define or def identify, I guess is a better word, chemical reactions, and then we have words that identify physical reactions or physical changes. And when I take a look at the words, I need to know, again, these words. It's all part of that whole vocabulary thing. Decomposition is the breaking down, for example, of a compound into its elements. There's my chemical reaction. Distillation is the separation of a mixture by boiling point. Sublimation, well, that's a fuzz, um, oh, a fuzz change. Well, that'd be kind of weird. It's actually a phase change. A solid going directly to a gas, and vaporization, of course, is liquid to gas. So these are phase changes. So the only answer there could be is decomp. Well, for question 11, again, we're looking at two solid forms of carbon, diamond and graphite. Guess what? We're back to allotrope. You need to know allotrope. Again, in this case, different molecular structure, different properties. So in 2015, almost the exact same question, word for word, was seen twice. In question 12, any substance composed of two or more elements chemically combine in a fixed proportion. That's another definition. That's a definition for a compound. And then finally, in 13, which physical change is endothermic? Well, you need to know, of course, endothermic, endo like in, energy needs to go in. The opposite is called exo, like exit, energy is being released. Energy accompanies every physical and chemical change. So, I'm going to show you an easy way to do question 13. Let me just erase some of this so that you can see it. So, when you have a phase change, one direction's endo, the other direction's exo. Same thing with a chemical reaction. One direction's endo, one direction's exo. But let's take a look at question 13. We want to look at endothermic. Well, just write solid. Oh, hold on. I can't write it if I don't have solid, liquid, gas. Choice one was solid directly to gas. Choice two was liquid to solid. Choice three, gas to liquid. And choice four, gas directly to solid. Well, as you can see, three of the four are going in one direction. There is only the first one, solid to gas, going from left to right in this case, and that is the answer. So a solid will take in energy, um, to, which is endothermic, to go to a liquid, or in this case, go from a solid directly to a gas. This is questions 1 through 13 I put together from the 2015 Chemistry Regions exams. Work hard. Go through questions again. Check out more information on nychemcoach.com, and good luck.